Welcome students in the first module of research methodology. I am Dr. Brijesh Kumar Yadav. In first module of research methodology, we will try to understand the meaning of research and research methodology and also the use of research methodology in business decision making. Whenever we are talking about research methodology, we have to understand the meaning and understanding, the basic understanding of research. As far as research is concerned, it is collection of new and purposive information. And why we collect those information? We collect information because of some specific problem, objectives, and topics for which we are conducting our research. Research might be an investigation about finding any solution to any social and scientific problem. That social problem could be from any part of the society, or that problem could be associated with any scientific problem. Basically research is concerned with the search of any branch of knowledge. We can say that it is associated with any knowledge whether it is mathematics, whether it is physics, chemistry, statistics, management, commerce, economics, anything. So in any branch of knowledge, we can conduct any kind of search related to any problem, related to any specific topic. And it can be conducted from many sources. And moreover, research may add to any existing branch of knowledge meaning thereby that whatever the gap that we find in any branch of knowledge, it can be filled by conducting new and innovative research. For example, if I talk about the marketing in management, if I talk about marketing, so impact of advertisement expenses on sale is commonly seen. So we would like to know whether there is any impact on sell when we do advertisement expenses and there are celebrity that are being assigned that are being selected by companies to endorse their market their product so is there any impact of celebrity endorsement on market share of the company and how do we know how do we know the impact of research or these variables on others? These can only be known by conducting specific research in a specific field. The example which I gave that the, is there any impact of advertisement expenses on sale or is there any impact of these celebrities on market share. So these are some specific areas for which we can conduct a research and we may find some answers regarding those okay moving towards another uh, point that research is a broad and present in every field of knowledge which i have already mentioned that like technology science and social science anywhere we can find the research Moving towards our next section in module 1, towards understanding of research methodology. We have already discussed what is research. Now what is research methodology? Obviously if anything has method, so we follow some systematic procedure to obtain a solution to a problem. And it is a scientific process of conducting research steps. And there are some 
points that we need to take care for conducting for for research for uh, the methodology basically there is a suitable methodology for a specific problem there is a suitable methodology for a specific problem and we apply those method methodology for that particular problem in research methodology we do everything in a plan and value creation manner it is essential for the development of industry and business it helps in solving social problems in social science research whenever we have any problem we do research whenever we have any problem related to industry and business we also do research existing theories and concepts can be enriched by research methodology that i have already mentioned Moving towards defining a research methodology, we can say that it is the collection of data and information for the purpose of making decisions. Initially, we, we do collect data and information, interview, we do interviews, surveys, various techniques can be adopted to conduct any study. And not only we collect, present information, but also some historical background is collected in a research methodology. Basically, research is concerned with the search of any branch of knowledge. We can say that it is associated with any knowledge, whether it is mathematics, whether it is physics, chemistry, statistics, management, commerce, economics, anything. So, in any branch of knowledge, we can conduct any kind of search related to any problem, related to any specific topic and it can be conducted from many sources and moreover research may add research methodology has some practical consequences means whatever the research is carried out the results and analysis has its practical consequences. Managers use those results for their business decision making process. It is a fact that managers have to be more alert in present competitive business environment where everything is changing at a very fast speed. And that is why they need to be updated they need to have many information regarding market, regarding product, regarding competitors. So, they require to analyze practical managerial problems and for that reason, research methodology helps them uh, 